I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Holy Cross Day and the Cross of Jesus. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Give today. Link in the description. Give. Your tax deductible gift keeps us passing the faith to the next generation, and they need this faith today. Holy Cross Day goes all the way back to pious Helena. If you don't know her, then you know her, her kid, uh, the Emperor Constantine, a Roman emperor who converted to Christianity. Helena went to Jerusalem to find the line marks of her faith. She found the sites with the crucifixion and burial of Jesus, the sites that are scholars still believe today are the actual historic sites where these things happened. Uh, but along with these important New Testament landmarks, she found not one, not two, but three crosses. And you'd expect three crosses, um, one for Jesus and two robbers. Uh, but which one of the crosses was the one on which her Lord died? And how do you tell? A miracle, a miracle helped her. Um, a sick person touched one of the crosses and was, was healed. Uh, there you go. Uh, that one must be the right one. So she took the true cross and placed it in the church built on Golgotha, the place where Jesus died. The church is remains to this day. It was the church of the Holy Sepulchre. My grandfather uh, was a good Roman Catholic, and he was a knight of the Holy Sepulchre. Pretty cool. Uh, now, finding the cross where the Son of God was nailed is certain reason to celebrate. They've got to have a potluck or something. Um, and so the church uh, never parties on Good Friday, uh, that's too solemn of a day. So the date set aside for the celebration of the cross being plus, uh, placed in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was September 14th, 335 A.D. Uh, now, there in the Church of the Cross remained until the Persians uh, and their Muslim hordes conquered Jerusalem and carried the cross off as a trophy. Not cool. Not cool at all. But the Christian Emperor Heraclius was victorious over the Muslims and returned to the cross to its proper place in the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem on the date, you guessed it, September 14th, 630 AD. Now, um, at the time of Luther, uh, there were so many chunks of the real cross that he said that he could, that you could make um, many, many castles from it, many, many keeps. And so the point is not, hey, we found the real cross and it's magical. That's not what's going on with Holy Cross Day. Um, that's its initial foundings, but that's not what's going on. The big deal about Holy Cross Day is where we're pointed. The epistle lesson for today. Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom, Sophia. Uh, but we proclaim Christ having been crucified. Uh, scandal for the Jews and moronic preacher preaching for the Gentiles. Uh, but to those who were called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. You see, the big deal, the big deal is Christ crucified for sinners. That is the saving message. It is the message of the angels after the resurrection why do you seek the living amongst the dead? You seek Jesus, the crucified. In Revelation, he's described as a lamb having been slain. Um, Christ doesn't get past the cross. We shouldn't get past the cross as well. Not the cross, the one found by pious Helena, if that's even the real cross at all. The cross where Jesus died for us, where he won our salvation by his holy life and his bitter suffering and death. That message alone saves. That gospel alone saves. That men are saved not by their works, but by Christ's works. That their works don't measure up, but they are saved by believing in the work of Christ, what he did for us, dying on the cross and raising again from the dead on the third day. Jesus alone saves us. And that is the message of this day, September 14th, in the year of our Lord 2020, the day in which we celebrate the cross of Christ. 
Pray with me. Uh, the collect from LSB. Merciful God, your son Jesus was lifted high upon the cross that he might bear the sins of the world and draw all people to himself. Grant that we, who glory in his death for our redemption, may faithfully heed his call to bear the cross and follow him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The call. Christ alone saves. The faith. The faith in the one who died on the cross for us. And salvation, which is found in no one else other than in the crucified and now risen Christ. I'm Pastor George Borkart. A blessed Holy Cross Day to you. And this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>